guys, I am excited to announce that as of Monday, Liberty Bankers Life has made some pretty cool updates on their final expense product. And what this has done, these updates, has made the application process shorter, thus making Liberty Bankers Life an even more attractive product for final expense agents. And I am gonna ask you to leave a comment below. Do you use Liberty Bankers Life? Have you ever? Is there something about them that maybe you'd like to share? Today, I'm gonna show an agency training that we recently did, and I'm gonna be going over these new Liberty Bankers Life updates. You telesales agents are gonna absolutely love it. We're also gonna get into why SBLI is a great carrier to actually lead with, GTL, Guarantee Trust Life, and why I like them over AIG and Great Western. I'm gonna be sharing some tips that should help you to have a highly effective work week. I'll get into when and how to find out if the client has a checking account during your sales presentation and what to do during your telesales presentation when the prospect can't find their checking account number. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe if you're a new viewer. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to get a copy of the free new agent telesales file, which has sales materials that you're absolutely gonna to wanna to use when selling life insurance and or final expense remotely over the phone. All right, let's jump right in. Liberty Bankers Life. Now, I didn't get an email. Dylan, if you're on the call, thank you for pointing this out to me yesterday. And that's what we do. Our agents, we help each other and inform each other, excuse me, of any changes that might be coming up. Here's the interesting part. This is going to be effective on March 18th, Liberty Bankers Life. This is Monday. The cool thing is an easy way to retrieve your agent ID. Okay, that's, you know, we already have that. We've got a system of that, but it's nice that they're they're trying to make the application process a little bit shorter. When you log in, a lot of your information is already going to be in there. So it's, you know, instead of putting your information in and then putting the clients in and it's already going to be pre-filled. So we like that. Now, this new e-signature method. Hey, hey, guess what? Liberty Bankers Life. They, they decided, hey, let's try the text to sign. Finally, there's a negative though. They're actually removing the, the telephone signature. So it's not like you got both options. So now you got text to sign or you can email the signature process. Um, this is important. Notice here it says not advancing commissions on Chime. The, these refillable bank cards that these people are buying from Walmart. Cash App, Green Dot Bank, Pathword Accounts. There's a bunch of bunch of them, right? Liberty Bankers Life, they don't take these cards, but they will take the account number. Here's your, you know, those of you new, especially, you're going to have clients that do not have a checking account. They have these refillable debit cards that their social security benefits go on to and Green Dot Bank, Chime, et cetera. And so what you can do is walk your client through the process of logging into their account because they all have an account, right? The, these refillable debit cards, they have an account. They've got to set the account up so that their social security benefits go into the account. But the cool thing is you walk them through the process. They can give you the account number. Bam, it's done. And now you've got the account number. And, and as far as a routing number is concerned, all you've got to do is Google Routing number, green dot bank, and poof, it pops up. It's one routing number for the whole country. It's not like with the banks. With the banks, you know, let's say you've got Chase Bank, for example, the routing number is different in every state, but not with these cards. So it's easy. So now, and I'm showing you this, most of you guys already realize this. You can basically use these cards with any carrier as long as you can get the account number. And most carriers, they don't want nothing to do with these debit cards because they stink. But when you get the account number, to me, that's a little bit, it's a, it's a stronger sale. You're going to keep that client on the books longer. These folks, they lose these debit cards. And you know we all know, those of you who sell, when the client pulls out a debit card, a refillable card, or even like a direct express card, right, which doesn't have an account number to it, unfortunately. But when they pull out these cards, we know... You know, these are people that are not responsible enough to have a checking account, which means they're probably really low income, barely getting by, and you'll be lucky to get a couple payments out of them. I hate to say it. So I, I never, you know, I always tell agents, you know, you got to pick your fights, pick your battles. Don't, don't sit there and fight for 
two hours to close a sale for a client who has a green dot bank card. It's just, it, it's, you'll be lucky to get a couple payments out of them, but it's part of the business. Here, additional signature details. So currently you're asked whether your applicant is physically present with you during your appointment. When yes is selected, you're prompted with two options, the telesignature, which it says a two minute call and a two minute call. It's always a little bit longer than that, right? And you're typed to sign for face-to-face -face only. So they're replacing the options by simply asking the client to give you the secret code. There it is. Boom, they're finally doing what Aetna started years ago and all these carriers are just falling into place and doing it right. It, I love that Liberty Bankers Life is doing this. This is that carrier that, you know, they do true social security billing. So I like them for that really. And they have a lot of options. You can get first day coverage for a couple of niches, COPD. But at the end of the day, with that new Royal Neighbors product, we're, we're finding that it, the, the approvals are higher. I've got multiple agents telling me the same thing, that they're liking the amount of approvals that they're getting through Royal Neighbors keep that in mind. But back to Liberty Bankers Life. I love that they did this starting on Monday. This is going to be different. You might want to revisit them. One of the pain in the butts about them is, you know, the application process was always a little bit longer. They just shortened it. They just took several minutes out of this application process, made it a little bit easier for everybody. And we know that you can use these refillable debit cards if you get the account number, which is what you should do anytime. You know, let, let's be clear about that. You know, we've got a couple of carriers that do take the debit cards. Um, honestly, the only reason you're going to give them the debit card numbers, if for some reason you can't, the, the client, like they just can't give you the account number. You just can't walk them through the process to log in and give you the account number. That's important. I mean, that's a game changer having that. All right. SBLI. All right. You guys have been with us for a while. You've all seen this. We, we love this SBLI. The approvals are high. They've got the Sequoia Funeral Concierge Plan. Okay. So those of you new, what the heck is that? Well, those of you been around the block, you know who Lincoln Heritage is. You know how they sell that product. They've got that funeral advantage. Well, this is basically that except for it's international and when you close a sale, you sell a client SBLI, they can use this for 10 of their family members. It's pretty huge. I mean, that's pretty huge. So now you've got a sales point right there. You know, think about it. You're, you're talking to the, the client. Uh, Mrs. Client, I, I want to ask you something. Before we get started today, if we can make the funeral real easy on your family and basically, basically prepared and have someone to help them, would that make a difference? That way we take a lot of the weight away from them. I mean, that's that's huge. The idea that they'll do this is really huge. And so, so this is one of the reasons we love it. They just started, they stepped up their game. You guys know, uh, most of you guys know, uh, in December, they tested true social security billing for the first time. They have implemented it. They're telling us we are doing it. It is working. And there you go. Of course, you know, typical issue ages, 50 to 85, their, their niche, you know, they've got several niches, epilepsy, they don't care about, they don't ask about epilepsy or seizures, they don't ask about insulin, COPD is standard, again, Royal Neighbors seems to have a better price in most cases, and we're seeing those higher approval ratings with Royal Neighbors. Uh, you know, I think for COPD, I'm still liking, I'm, I'm digging the Royal Neighbors until you guys start telling me differently, Right. You know, and and of course they do have multiple signature options. So when you go to do the, uh, let's say the e e signature, for example, and the client for some reason can't open up their email, at least you can back up and say, hey, no problem, Mrs. Client, we don't need to wait until later when your daughter gets home to help you with this. We're going to go ahead and just do a quick voice signature. So at least they have that option, which that's the one negative about that Liberty Bankers Life change that's starting on Monday is they're not going to have it anymore. High approvals. SBLI, I had one agent say, Doug, I'm not getting as many people approved as I was before. So if you guys experience this, let me know. It could be the one agent, right? It happens. It's it's feast or famine sometimes. So, you know, we we things carriers get streaky. But uh, let me know if you guys are experiencing this. Uh, I'm curious. We we want to help each other. 
Um, I am getting a, a little bit more counter offers than I used to. Everything used to go right through, but now it's like, oh no, now we got to go hmm. down one more step because I got that uh, counter offer through the app. And okay. as far as the COPD, Royal Neighbors is good as long as they're not a smoker. So that's important. Hmm. They won't, you won't get standard coverage or level coverage as smoking and COPD. Excellent. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it, buddy. Excellent. SBLI does pay every Monday, so you get paid weekly, which is pretty cool. Now, I want to remind you guys about GTL. So GTL, uh, we're, you know, they they never came out and said, hey, we're doing true social security billing. But guess what? They are now. They're, they're doing their version of it, which is a little bit weird. I'm not really going to get into it. Basically, if you set up a client for the draft to be on the first or the third, they're going to treat it like true Social Security billing, whether the client's on Social Security or not. Those of you who don't know what true Social Security billing is, we're going to address that on another call. You're going to have to come back because <laughs> that's very important. But very important, guys, those of you on the platform, at the end of the day, AIG and Great Western do not do true Social Security billing. Great Western doesn't even do Social Security billing. So honestly, if you can sell GTL over AIG, do it. If you can sell AIG over Great Western, do it. Great Western, they're not even taking the debit cards anymore. They're they're losing value by the minute. They're going backwards until, you know, and here's what I would say. That can all change if Great Western adds true Social Security billing right? That boom, all of a sudden now they're a player. They're like a player for, for the whole market, not just for guaranteed issue. GTL is the only one of the three that is doing true social security billing. And for those of you who don't know what they are is it's almost guaranteed issue. It's a, it's a three year graded. So it's a little weird. So you're probably thinking, ah, that's not so good. I'm better off selling them a two year graded. Well, look, here's one other thing. GTL, they don't do any background check. There, there's no script check. There's no MIB. Your client answers no to all the questions. They're going to trust your client and take them for their word. Okay. And issue, period. It's going to get issued. Uh, yeah. That's why we love GTL. Keep in mind, guys, there's a reason these carriers, these guaranteed issue carriers and, and GTL only pay, you know, the commission levels that they pay. You know, there's a reason they pay a lot less commission than you know your level your typical level uh product or standard product and it's because they're basically approving everybody so you know somebody's got to take it you know they're they're paying a lot more death claims they know that um now let's talk about monday monday's the slow day on the platform right we just started advertising on sunday you know we didn't advertise friday or saturday we with our system we've 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 got it down to where sunday night we start and you start getting appointments Monday and then Tuesday, you got a lot more, you know, cause we're advertising through the week. So Monday's slow. That's it. So what are you going to do? Well, here's what you're going to do. Monday is actually going to be your busiest day because you're going to work your insufficient funds, your cancellations. You're going to, you're going to do all your follow-up on the sales you made the previous week. Now, why do you want to follow up? Well, because you can't just give up. Yeah, this our business, it is a one-call close, but still, 20% of your business isn't a one-call close, okay? And if you just allow that business to pass, at the end of the year, you just cost yourself 20% of your income. And that's kind of the way I see it. So it's important. Monday should be your busiest day not your slowest day. You're calling the insurance carriers. You're double checking on your new business. Why? Because here's what'll happen. I always talk about Transamerica. You know, this is one of the reasons we don't push too much Transamerica is because Transamerica will tell you the client's approved. And the next thing you know, you'll realize that they're approved as long as you give them something else. And the next thing you know, if you're not paying attention and checking on your business and calling the carriers and saying, hey, uh, Mrs. Janet got approved on Tuesday. I'm just calling to verify that that it is approved as applied for and that you don't need anything else from her or me. You have to check on the new business because sometimes they're going to surprise you and they'll go, nope, it looks good. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, we do. We are waiting on that one thing. And you're like, well, I didn't realize that. That's why you got to check on your business. Don't wait until the draft date and then find out 
you know, days later, <laughs> uh oh, there was something missing. They never drafted. Now you got to send up a new application. Crap. You don't want that. Work your stood ups. The people that stood you up, you're going to put them into your speed dialer. You're going to take last week's leads. You're going to throw them in your speed dialer and you're just going to turn that sucker on and let it do in the work for you. That is the way to make more sales. Monday, there is no reason for you not to get an additional sale or two. There really isn't. And save and potentially save stuff that is on the way out. Now, honestly, I think you should be sending, you know, get in the habit where, you know, you wake up on Tuesday, you send out the thank you co uh, card, the welcome packet, your business card. You send that out to anybody you sold on Monday. You know, Wednesday, you send it every day. You send it out from the sales the night before. That way, within a few days, they're getting something from you, which which verifies that you're legitimate. And and now the buyer's remorse starts to go away, you know, and the, for those people that do that. Because, hey, guys, sometimes, especially when you're new, you know, you'll sell a client. And then a couple of days will pass and they'll start thinking, did I get ripped? Did I just get scammed? That's why we do the things that we do. Save that business. Keep them on the book. Start building a relationship. Guys, the hard part isn't closing the sale. The work begins after you have gotten the sale. <laughs> That's when the work begins. If you're doing this business right, moving right along. Guys, this is important. There is a right way, a wrong way, a right time, and a wrong time to find out if the client has a checking account. Because, you know, 25% of them won't, right? We know that, right? We know that. Some days it seems like none of them do, right? <laughs> it's feast or famine. So when do you find it out? This is super important. You want to wait until you get through the first part of the presentation. You've obtained all the medical information, right? And then you've gotten your you've gotten into the uh, the part of the presentation where you're you're build, building value right before you go to give. Really, right before you go to give the price, right before you start looking up the carrier that you're going to price them with, you got to say something like. Okay, well, Janet, listen, I want to make sure, again, to get you the best price possible. Remember, uh, I mentioned it before. Some of these carriers have their products specifically designed for people on Social Security and people that don't have much money. Do you, first of all, do you receive Social Security benefits? You've got to find this out, right? This is how you're opening the door to, to getting to finding out if they got a bank account, right? Okay, now do they? I'm curious. So you do receive Social Security benefits? Okay, excellent. And what do they? They they direct deposit your your money into your checking account each month, right? They're gonna say, well, I use a card. They're gonna go, yeah, but I. Th so this is how you find out. Here's what I do when they say, oh yeah, they put it right into my checking account each month. That's when I say, well, you know, yeah, I use Chase Chase Bank. What bank do you use? This is when they'll surprise you and go, oh well, I use Go Dot Bank. You know, I use Direct Express, which isn't a bank. It's a refillable card. Now you know. This is how you find it out. The key is not to ask this early in the presentation, but as late as humanly possible, like right before you start pulling up the insurance toolkits quoting software. All right. Very important, guys. What if they can't find their banking account? Uh-oh. Well, I, I don't know how to do that. Um, but my daughter's going to be home later and she'll help me with that. No, 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 Guys, you don't want to do that. You, sure. You got someone that's really interested. You don't want to wait on someone else. You need to take care of this now. Again, this is why it is a one call close. So you never allow that nonsense later. You've got to help them log into their checking account, walk them through the process. You're the calm. Cool. No, you know what, Janet? No problem. I'm going to help you do that right now. Now, this is one of the reasons that I suggest that. So like the cool thing, like a good example of is my wife and I both have different banks, you know, so so she uses one bank. She uses Chase. I use a different one. So I've seen what it looks like when she logs in 
and I've seen how she gets the account number. So I'm able to walk any client through Chase Bank and through my bank right off the bat because I know how to do, I pull up the account number on, on my, I know how to log in on my smartphone and pull out the account number. So you've got to walk them through the process. You've got to just, you're the calm because they're going to be fumbling around. They're going to be like, oh, look, can I, we just wait until my daughter gets home tonight? You're the one that needs to make it easy. Now, worst case scenario, this is the old school method, okay? You Google the branch. So if you know they got Chase Bank, for example, you Google, you know where they live, you've got their address, you ask them, hey, do you pull it up, you pull up the map, you're going to see, you're going to see the Chase Bank on Main Street, then you're going to see the one on Southwest 10th Street. And you're going to ask them, do you, do you go to the one on Main Street uh, across the street from Subway? Oh, is that the branch you go to? So now you know what branch they go to. You want to call the direct number for the branch. Why? Because if you call the 800 number, they're not going to give out the account number to the client. They're going to tell the client, well, you have to come into the bank to get that because of scams. They're, they're protecting your client. But when you call the local branch, guess what? They're going to hand it right over to you. They don't know better. They don't have that type of training. You will rarely get an issue with this. Yeah, it sounds a little pain in the buttish, a little old school. You got to walk your, you're doing a three-way call. You're having the client do the work. But I'm telling you, at the end of the day, boom, it's done. This is the right way to do this. All right. Again, you're the calm. So I always, I always remember, you know, there's that, that point where during stuff like this, they get frustrated. Now, another time they get frustrated is when they're trying to pull up the email to give to do the the DocuSign, right? Because some of the carriers, you have to do the DocuSign. So they pull up the email with the DocuSign and they're having trouble. Again, you're the calm. You walk them through the process. You've already seen it yourself. You got to basically do an application for each carrier on yourself or a family member and see what the signature process is going to look like. You need to be able to describe to the client what they're going to be doing. You are the calm. Guys, thanks for watching. For a copy of the free new agent telesales file mentioned at the beginning of the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. If you'd like information on our remote final expense sales platform, just shoot me an email at that same address. As always, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there and do something good for someone else today. Happy hunting.